team and I wanted to bring some insight and a spiritual perspective to relationships. And so we wanted to talk about a very common question. I get a lot of readings and um, this is a question that I hear over and over and over again. And it is, when is my soulmate coming? When will I find the love of my life? Is there somebody out there for me? So we're going to go into this just a little bit. Um, but first of all, my spiritual team wanted to bring some clarification and they wanted to share with you that relationships are the most important resources in your physical experience because they are the biggest assets to increase and expand your personal growth, but also to expand the collective to all that is. And so know and understand that before you were born into this human existence, you understood and accepted that once you were here in this physical realm, you would encounter relationships with others. And you embraced the thought that those relationships would offer you a balance of contrast from which you would personally make improved choices that would add to your personal growth and that would add to the expansion of the collective. You understood that every new idea every action, every emotion, every urge and desire would be a direct result of that contrast and would add to your personal evolution. You know, you never came down here with the intention to suffer or to live in pain or to be lonely or to feel separated or lost. But you knew that by interacting with others, those new ideas and dreams would emerge from them, from those interactions. And you knew that joy and abundance were a certainty as long as you followed your emotions, your heart, and as long as you focused in the direction of those new ideas and those dreams. Because without comparative experiences of relationships, you would never be able to find understanding within yourself. You would never be able to grow self-love and self-appreciation. And so in a way, you would never be able to exist at all. Now, how we choose to think, feel, and act during these experiences is completely up to you. You can choose to live and stay in a state of suffering, in a state of pain, in a state of despair or grief. Or you can choose to stay in a state of acceptance, of love, of hope, of prosperity, balance, and peace. Now, during my readings, like I said, a lot of people ask their spiritual team and their loved ones, when is my soulmate coming? When will I have someone to share my life with? When will I find someone who will love me unconditionally. You know, so many people worry about finding the right person or they worry that they might never find this person at all, that they will be alone for the rest of their lives. <clears throat> My spiritual team is saying we are raised with the belief that at some point in our life, we are expected to settle down and find a partner to start a life with, to start a family with. And some people even feel that they aren't really complete until they find that life partner. But the truth is that most people want someone to share their life with because they want to be remembered after they go home like they need in some way or form a witness of their human existence. And as long as we stay in a vibration of needing someone else to make us feel loved, needing someone else to make us feel remembered or to make us feel happy and whole, we will continue to stay in that vibration of lack and absence. And the universe will bring more of that. It's the law of attraction. It's the law of the universe. See, the universe doesn't distinguish what you want and what you don't want because it is a neutral entity of energy that follows the law of attraction. 
the universe responds by providing you with what you focus on the most by manifesting more of whatever it is you put the most energy into so step one in attracting that new relationship that you desire is to stop focusing on the absence of it if the lack of the relationship is the strongest vibration that you are sending out every day if you are constantly reminding yourself of the absence of that relationship then you will continue to stay in that vibration and then the manifestation of a relationship becomes impossible because those two vibrations are just too far apart you cannot manifest the solution to any problem when you when you are too focused on the problem and not focused enough on the solution so believe that the relationship is already established stay in that vibration of sharing your life with someone and stop focusing on the lack of it okay that's step one now they're going step two um, step two in attracting the right person so step one was attracting a person step two is attracting the right person is understanding that the universe cannot bring you a happy, balanced, peaceful partner if you are not yourself already that. So the law of attraction will provide you with partners who will match your own frequency, meaning that if you yourself are not in a happy, peaceful, balanced state of being, then the people you will attract will be just like you. The universe cannot bring you a partner who will appreciate and respect you if you cannot appreciate and respect yourself. So the foundation of a good and happy relationship is when the individuals are already feeling good about who they are. And then when they come together, they will be a couple who feels good as well. So if you are single at this moment and you are longing for that relationship that is going to heighten your vibration and elevate your experience of life, then you are in the perfect position to bring yourself in alignment first. Feed yourself with self-love and self-respect. Make a list of all the things you are grateful for in this moment. All the things you are grateful for around you, but also all the things you are grateful for within yourself. Look forward to where you want to be and what you want to experience and stay in that feeling. Stay in that vibration of already being there. So stop focusing on what you don't want or lack as everything has already been created and manifested. Everything, every thought that we have that you send out into the universe sparks a creation, sparks a manifestation. The only reason you um, don't feel like it is with you yet, the only reason you don't see the manifestation yet, is because you need to align your vibration with the vibration of that creation. So the only thing left to do after you manifest, you visualize, you stay in that vibration of love and peace and self-respect, um, after you let go of the fear of being alone, after you let go of, of constantly being reminded that you are alone, that you um, are lacking a relationship, and that um, you let go of the false belief that you can only be complete and whole um, when another person makes you whole, um, we're all perfect in our own way. We're all one and one with the universe, one with source. We are all complete in our own way. We just choose to share experiences with others. So the only thing left to do after you let all that stuff go and after you, um, infuse yourself with self-love and gratitude and appreciation and acceptance in where you are at this moment the only thing left to do is to start vibrating at that frequency of create creation so you can then invite 
whatever has been already manifested in some time or place, you can then invite it into your existence. Um, that is what we need to do. It's about tuning into the right channel so you can see the show. Um, we have, you have to kind of see it like a television, you know. Uh, this is how they explained it to me. Um, we are the television set, um, or that our body is our television set, and the shows that come on there are our experiences. And um, in order to um, in order to be able to experience a new experience, for example, in order to experience a relationship, we have to tune into that frequency. We have to zap to the right channel until we get at the same frequency of the the show that has relationship on it. And so that's what it's all about. And as long as our frequency is not matching with the frequency of the creation of the relationship, you will never see it into your reality. So um, self-love is key here. Self-love is key. Letting go of, of the fear and the frustrations and the anxieties that you create around it. And then you will slowly but surely align with the frequency of, yes, I'm ready to invite this relationship in and then you will attract it into your reality. You were created and manifested with the law of, the law of attraction, with the universal law. So that is our advice for you guys. Um, never give up. Know that you guys are in charge of your own reality. You are the creators, the writers, the producers. And start creating. Start creating and attract that relationship into your life that's going to make you feel good, that's going to just heighten what you already feel inside. All right? Love you guys. Take care. Many blessings. And I'll see you later.